94.3 The Point. It's the Jersey Shore's hit music channel. Good morning. It is 8.54. It's Lou and Liz. Um, scattered light rain possible throughout the day today. Mostly cloudy, but cooler, high 60. Got about 53 now, partly cloudy skies, 94.3 The Point. We are joined by Dr. Denise Johnson Mid- uh, Miller, Medical Director of Breast Surgery for Meridian Health. Welcome to the show. Thank you for so much for being here. Thank you. So tell us about uh, your role and the things you do at Meridian Health. Well, we have uh, developed a, a new program. We are developing and increasing the number of clinical trials for treatment of breast cancer, uh, novel molecular uh, trials with Robert Wood Johnson, CINJ, uh, doing more quality uh, initiatives to increase the quality, and of course, uh, increasing the number of patients that we see. How prevalent nowadays is breast cancer in women? Has it gotten any better, worse? Is it, is it still a matter of everybody should be uh, getting a mammogram? Well, everybody over the age of 40, and the incidence is still one in eight women will develop breast cancer by the time they're 80. So that has been pretty stable over the last decade. What about recommendations to help reduce risk or early detection? One of the biggest things that you can do is to know your family history. That's number one, because if you have a strong family history of breast or ovarian cancer, you probably want to start seeing um, your primary care provider earlier and start screening at an earlier age. We generally recommend screening to start at age 40, every one to two years based on your family history and other factors. Now, I know that uh, Meridian is having an initiative throughout this month. It's Paint the Town Pink, which everybody knows about. I know you're involved. Tell us about that. Paint the Town Pink has been around for 10 years now, and it's made a tremendous difference. It started, of course, in Red Bank, and now has spread to over 51 towns around uh, the uh, New Jersey area. And it's mainly to raise awareness of breast health, screening mammograms, breast self-exams, and your overall health. I think it's really interesting that I've never heard this term before, but what is pink laughter yoga? Well, it is laughter yoga, and it's going to be for <laughs> Paint the Town Pink. So laughter is a form of yoga? I mean, there's laugh. you laugh while you... Laughter <laughs> is the world's best medicine. Yeah. And it's run by trained yoga instructors. Wow. They do rhythmic clapping. They do poses. And then they induce laughter. Love it. And what we found is that even if you're fake laughing... It induces endorphins, it makes you feel better, and improves the immune system. Liz has that's, been fake laughing at my jokes for years, I have. Liz, so that's great no wonder news I'm right still there. Alive. <laughs> that's why you're so healthy. <laughs> that's right. How about that? Now, if people want more information. Even if it's fake laughter, she said, Liz. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, if people want more information on Paint the Town Pink, it's easy. Paintthetownpink.com. Um, and I know that you're looking forward to a, a lot of that, and we want everybody to get involved uh, as much as they can with it. We are with Dr. Denise Johnson Miller. She's the medical director of breast surgery for Meridian Health. Thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, we'll keep everybody updated. It's a great initiative that Meridian's doing. Thank you. Thanks. State 57, the Jersey Shore's hit music channel, 94.3 The Point.